already. I'm pretty sure this is where it is. So I'm going to fast travel. Alrighty. We're here now. So we start just outside of the uh, social clubhouse here. And there's a statue on a little pillar with a bunch of colorful flowers and plants and whatnot. That's how you know you're in the right spot. And if you head down... Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. If you head down this street here... And you can feel free to kill anybody along the way that you see fit. That's what I'm going to do. Hi, buddy. Oh my god, this is one of them too. Okay, well, spoiler alert. What I was going to show you guys is there's a locked house at the end of the street that's very unassuming on the outside, but inside, they've got all the finery that you find in one of the palaces and other fancy buildings in this game. You got the fancy tea sets, big paintings, the furniture, all gold trimmed, granite tabletops. I don't know if that's granite. I don't know anything about stone, which is odd because I've taken more than one geology class. That's a potassium feldspar. I don't know. It looks kind of like it, but that's not relevant. Anyway, this is a smaller one, but you see kind of what I'm going for here. Fancy carpet, too. And if you step outside, there's just another house. In fact, there's a library corner shop there. But it doesn't look like there would be anything fancy inside, and yet there is. But it gets even better. Come down past here. And I have been in here before. But I didn't have my microphone setting such that you could hear anything I said. So... One second. It appears there's a murder going on around the corner, and I'm going to apprehend the criminals involved. Oh, son of a bitch. You're kidding me. Please, please move. Please. Nope. Oh! I still got hit, but that was, <laughs> that was kind of goofy. <laughs> Let's go up here. And maybe, just maybe, I'll run away from them well enough to do one of my mediocre parkour videos. I see shorts all the time on YouTube of people who do really, really good parkour clips. And I, and I try to replicate that, but I am just not good enough. So... I entitle them semi-good or semi-smooth or just flat-out mediocre because I'm, I'm just not good at it. But that's all right. So anyway, without losing my sense of direction here, it's this building here. There's a few people out in the adjacent alleyway or courtyard or whatever the hell you want to call this. Backyard? I don't know. But let's, uh... Let's take care of that. Nice. Jiggly sword. Appreciate that. And a chicken just sitting on top of him. A lot of chickens over here. And a dead rat. This game has an underrated score, too, which, when I'm free roaming, it's been playing a lot more. It used to never play, and it always bummed me out, because that was one of my favorite things about Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood, was all the music that played when you're wandering around. It was always so good, but I'm glad to hear it more often, because I don't feel like you hear enough of it in this game. 
Dans mon côté, on va retrouver ici le bouc de fourroise. Le voici à la roue. C'est que j'ai donc une raison à faire. Il y a un là où c'est simple, mais c'est là. On devrait partir. Probablement un voleur. Je ne vais pas avec nous. Je ne vais pas avec nous. Je ne vais pas So anyway, we got a level two lockpick here. Oh, I got one lockpick. I better make this good. Luckily, level twos are pretty easy. It's the threes that I'm fucking awful at. All right, we're in, and I don't think there's anyone on the first floor. But you kind of get what I mean. I'm gonna clear this building out, and then I'll uh, I'll show you what I'm on about. We'll go through everything and see what kind of fancy stuff there is. Hi, buddy. Oh, I was hoping for the double assassination. That's all right. One down. I'll finish you off. So we'll start from the third floor and work our way down. And I'll show you what I'm on about. There is a floor above, but there's nothing in it. It's just like standard loft house kind of crap. Really dingy. This floor got a fancy bathtub. There was a chest in here, which is why I originally came in when I was working on collecting all the chests, get 100% completion on this game. It brought me here, and that's how I found it. But there was a chest here, and as you see, you got more of the really fancy. That's a hardwood table, and you got the stone top tables, fancy vases, wardrobes, golden statues with little glass or diamond chandelier type thing on top of it. I know it's not a chandelier because it's not hanging, but I, again, I don't know the technical name for all these furnitures. Nice blue armchair. Fancy candelabras and tea sets. Fancy rugs and beds. I'm just going to slap fancy on the name of, or on before every single one of these nouns. And that'll describe what I'm talking about pretty adequately. But you got candle mounts on the wall that are gold. Potted plants everywhere. A bunch of portraits I never noticed before. And I must say, that one without the frame there in the middle is kind of spooky. Really kind of staring into my soul there, but oh well. Um, you see what I'm on about. And you get these sort of wardrobe closet things too. You find those all over the world. But again, these are the ones that you see in the really nice houses and palaces and stuff. You don't see them in these random little buildings on the side. And see, that's the way the light shines off that clearly polish. They've even got a bar in here. And a stove. Dining room table with gold chairs and silver plates. And they've got bars in other buildings like these too, but they're all much rougher, coarse wood, not this, you know, pretty polished, fine looking bars and more fancy beds, bookshelves, end tables, more tea sets. And we come back downstairs again. You know, you got the trunks, more clocks, big giant painting in this one. 
office chair, couches, another coffee table with that polished stone top. That there, that is a chandelier. I know that. I've got that part right. More desks and clocks. Another painting. And I know it's not a big deal. I know it's not earth shattering stuff, but it is cool that these pro guys probably, you know, looted it off of some palace. Because they're the same people you find guarding or ransacking palaces all the time that are under enemy control. And it's a neat little world building detail, I think, that they managed to loot all of it and place it in one of their safe houses. And it's cool that you can find that. I just think it's a, it's a neat detail that these people who are clearly always invading palaces, occupying palaces, looting palaces, you see where some of their ill-gotten gains end up. Speaking of ill-gotten gains, get your ass back here. Here's a complaint for the game. Why can't you tackle from the front? But oh well. I got him. But anyway, that's about it. It's just a neat little detail that I noticed in the game. And I thought it was kind of cool. And I suppose as I free roam some more, I'll see if I find any other neat places like that. Mostly... With this game, all there is left to do is buy the really expensive gear that's left over. I've got those four cakes. I made an Instagram post about it. But I saw on a short on YouTube that there's a secret boss if you find these five cakes hit throughout the world. And I found one of them, which I'll probably post a little snippet of at some point down the line. But I have found one. The other four I have not. And while I am going to be playing a lot more of other games, because I've really uh, burnt out on Assassin's Creed Unity when I grinded out the last 10 or so percent of this game. But if I find anything else cool like that, I'll probably share it. But anyway, I just thought that was a neat detail and decided to uh, share it. So with that, that'll be the end of this video. Appreciate all watching.